Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make another Super Mario Brothers character, and that is a Babam. Babams are actually pretty simple to draw out, but a little, little messy when it comes to making balloons. So for this one, you're going to need two black 260s, one orange 260, one white 160, and one light blue or silver 160. If you don't have light blue, go ahead and use silver but I am going to use light blue for it. So first I'm gonna start off with my body. So we're just gonna take our black. I'm just gonna blow that up until I got a good three inches at the end there. I'm gonna tie one end to the other. So, leaving myself a good inch and a half here. Let me give it a good squeeze. Bend it. I'm just going to make four section circle right now. I'm going to use the second one to fill it in. Like so. Give it a good squish too, because we wanted to have a nice rounded shape to it. If we pre-round it, it'll be a lot easier. Like so. Now it's got a more rounded look. Go ahead, take another one. This is going to want to roll away, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to blow it up, but I'm going to give myself an extra inch here. Just because I want one side of it to be a little loose. And that's where we're going to stick our key. So I'm just gonna start bringing my black down. Like so. I'm just gonna start filling it in. But I'm going to make sure that one of mine is going to be slightly, my last one's going to be slightly smaller than the others. Which is my last one right here. As you can see, it is smaller. I bring it across like this. But that is what we want. I'm just going to give it a good squeeze. So it stretches it out. So when I put the key on, it'll be a lot easier. Plus it also helps me identify where the back is. So right now we have a good bomb shape. Now, stay. Go ahead, grab your orange. We're gonna put some feet on this guy. Since they are walking bodies. Give yourself a good seven inch tail. You're not gonna need too much of your orange. Place it at your base, which is basically where you have your nozzles and your extra runoff black. Seeing that my loose one is back here, I'm going to have my feet facing forward. So I'm going to go down with my orange two inches, one inch your twist. One inch loop twist, wrap around your ear twist, and do another one. And I think I might have messed that one up. Shoot, 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 shoot. Backtrack. Backtrack a little bit. Let's go one and a half inches because I did not calculate that right. One inch twist. Orange loop twist. There we go, that's better. 
didn't have enough for the second foot. Bubble. One inch ear twist. Squeeze. One inch ear twist. And right back up. There we go. So now he's got little tiny feetsies. Tuck it in and tuck it away. Now that he has his little feet, like so, I'm going to go ahead and make my key using my weight, 160. Hmm, thought I grabbed the yellow. Actually, no. Uh, I am getting all over the place today, aren't I? We are still going to blow that up. So there's, we're going to give yourself a good seven inches here. I am not prioritized, am I? That's all right. Keys are yellow. I forgot. <laughs> what Mario found on my. All right, I'm going to grab a yellow 260. You're only going to need a little bit on this one. So give yourself a good six inch tail. I'm going to start with two ear twists here. These are going to keep my key facing outward and it's going to make sure it's nice and stable. Like so. I'm going to take my black, figure out where the middle section is, which is right here. Give it a good twist. I'm going to go ahead and string my two ear twists in the middle of that. So I'm just going to push it in and pull both ear twists out towards me, like so. Which is fine because we're going to work our way down, basically make us bring my key up here, do the two loops, and bring it right back down to connect everything together. So I'm going to go out. One and a half inches here. Ear twist. It's going to be my anchor. I'm going to do two loop twists here. They're about two inches. One. Wrap around my ear twist. Two. I should just have enough to make it way, make my way right back in. Down the base. Connect it right into my two starting ear twists here. Connect around both and bring it right back into your middle ear twist. Like so. Go ahead, fix your key so that your ear twist is in the middle and your two loops are on the side, like so. So you should have something that looks like this. Now we take our white. Stay. We connect the nozzle to the top of the head. Like so. Now I'm gonna find my middle point in my black, which is gonna be this one right here. I'm gonna bring it down. So I create some eyes here. We want it to go in the middle. We don't want it to like basically push up on top of the black. Bring it down and I bring it right back up again. Because we're also going to use the white for the wick. Slide into the top. So now he's got two little eyes. And we want this little wick at the top. And finally, take your blue or your silver, whichever one you grabbed, and we're just going to make the holster for the wick. Just going to need a little bit. This is about three inches of blue. Do a little starting gear twist here. This is about half an inch ear twist. Good. 
go out about an inch here. Do another ear twist. And bring it back into your first starting ear twist. Just gonna roll my ear twist in so they don't unravel. So you should have something that looks like this. I'm gonna place it right on the top of my head, but I'm also gonna feed my wick through the middle in between the two large jigglers. So I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna pull it like so. Now the reason why I made two ear twists on the top is so that it's not going to lean when you secure it in. So right now I'm pulling my first one through the middle. You see that it's already popped up like so. I'm going to grab it, wrap it around my second ear twist. Bring it right back in again. Connect it again. You at least want to make two passes with this one. So that it stays secure. And then tuck that away. And for this one, you don't need to draw any eyes on it. So this is a good thing if you're running out of marker or you, you know you're running out of time with kids and everything. And here we have a nice little bubble bomb. Ta-da! Now speaking of bombs, stay. Got another one. Again, this was over in with the the watermelon wad. So I'm hoping there's going to be something else in here. I mean, it's kind of fun. <laughs> At least then you can give somebody a bomb if you don't really like them. I'm just hoping there's not as much paper as the other one because that was a mess. And I'm hoping there's other things inside. <sighs> nope, it looks like it's going to be the same. We've already hit our first layer. It's another elephant whoopee cushion. But luckily, there is not as much paper in this one. Oh, I got a different thing. Yay, I love these things. Oh, it's busted. Oh, I like those things. Again, it's a cute idea, too. Oh. I got an army man! Yes! I'm such a nerd. Yeah! These things are always fun. Yeah! Army man! Oh, it's all raveled up. Let's see if he's any good. It works! Yes! I'm kind of curious what else is in here. Oh! More emoji tattoos. I got a rocker. Cool. Anything in the heart of it? Oh, not a bouncy ball. I think this one glows in the dark. That one actually bounces a lot better than the first one. And look, not as much paper. Yay! All right, so guys, I will see you in the next one. You guys still be good to each other. Don't do anything silly. I just want to make a mess now. Woo! Worth it. See you guys. Bye.